Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a fabric basket. You can get the free pattern on my sewing blog. There's a link in the description. This pattern comes with two different sizes. So there's the smaller size, it's about a six inch diameter, and this one is a 10 inch diameter. These little baskets are great for decorating, they're great for organizing. Um, you can have the top stand up like this with just the sewn border, or you can fold the border down um, for a different look. You get to see that nice, pretty fabric on the inside. It makes the top slightly stronger. These baskets are not strong. They're not like you can sit on them and they will hold you up. They are essentially like soft fabric baskets but they still hold their shape. You can see this one is standing all the way on its own. Um, you use quilting cotton and for both the outer fabric and the inner fabric, and then you use fusible fleece and fusible interfacing. The stiffer and stronger um, fusible fleece and interfacing you use, the stiffer the basket will be. Um, but the stiffer it is, the harder it is to sew, so you can choose how you want to do it. I can't wait to decorate these. I'm going to use this one for organizing and I'm going to put a little um, fake plant in this one and have it decorating um, in my home. I love this pretty floral fabric and I chose it because I wanted to decorate with it in my home. So let's get started. For this project you're going to need a half uh, yard of quilting cotton, one for the outer um, basket and one for the inner ba basket. Um, then you'll also need fusible fleece, fusible interfacing, and the free pattern that you can get on my blog. You can find the link down in the description. The first thing you're going to do is you are going to cut out two side pieces um, and one bottom piece from the outer fabric and then do the same for the inner fabric. Then you're going to do <clears throat> two sides and a bottom from interfacing and two sides and a bottom from fusible fleece. Once I cut all the pieces out, I fused the fusible fleece to the back of the outer fabric and I fused the fusible interfacing to the back of the inner fabric. Now we are going to sew the side seams. So put the bottom to the side. You're going to take your side pieces. We're going to do um, work on both sides at the same time. So take your side pieces and you're going to line up the short sides on both of them and pin. We're going to sew each side seam with the 3 8 inch seam allowance and make sure you backstitch when you start and when you stop. Once these seams are sewn, you are going to press these seams open with an iron and then you are going to sew 1 8 inch away from this seam 
up and down the, to keep this seam allowance open. It also gives a little bit of extra strength to the sides of the basket. Now you are going to take the bottom pieces and um, I'm going to turn the sides right side out like this. Then I'm going to take a bottom piece and line it up. So I'm lining up these two side notches with the two side notches on here. And then this halfway point between here will line up with the side seams. And that's a great way to um, get the circle to fit into you're getting a curve of your circle to fit in to the straight side seam of the sides we're going to pin this one you're going to sew this circle seam on both um, baskets with a 3 8 inch seam allowance Now what you're going to do is you are going to slide the inner basket into the outer basket and you're going to make sure that you do right sides together and match up your side seams and your notches. We're going to pin this together all the way around and then uh, we're going to sew this seam, leave about a four inch hole so we can turn it right side out and back stitch when you start and when you stop. Now we're going to turn the basket right side out through this hole. Stuff the inner basket down inside of the outer basket. Kind of have to poke out those corners, those edges going to stick my hand in and get that bottom edge a little bit nicer. So now I'm rolling this seam along the top to get, um, you kind of want the inner basket to be down inside and I'm going to press this edge nice and crisp with the inner basket inside and make sure when you press that you fold in this seam allowance right here and press it flat like that with those nice folds. Now that I've ironed, I'm going to go around and edge stitch along the top that's sewing one eighth of an inch around and that will close this hole. Um, just carefully hold that fabric together. You can also pin it so it's right in the right place. Then I'm going to sew another row of stitching 
um, an inch below just to give extra strength to the top of the basket. Once these two seams have been sewn, your basket is done. You can fold this edge over if you want, if you want to um, have that kind of nice contrast edge around the top of your basket, but it is optional. It's still um, pretty strong enough to just stand on its own just like this. And that's how you make a fabric basket using a free sewing pattern. I can't wait to see all of the fabric baskets baskets that you make, please share them with me on social media. If you're interested in sewing projects, check out this um, playlist with beginner sewing projects. There's so many fun projects to sew. And check out this playlist with home sewing projects so you can find, you can make great things for your home. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope you have a wonderful day.